Silicon Angle Media presents The Cube. Covering Alibaba Cloud's annual conference. Brought to you by Intel. Now here's John Furrier. Hello everyone, I'm John Furry, the co-founder of SiliconANGLE, Wikibon on theCUBE for our exclusive coverage in Hangzhou, China for Alibaba Cloud Conference here. It's a cloud computing conference. The entire city is a cloud. We're here at the Intel booth with Peter Chen, who's the general manager of products and technology for data center group sales of Intel Corporation. Peter, AI is the hottest topic. IOT, Alibaba Cloud, having a huge event here, mixing kind of a yeah. cultural shift, generational shift. Young yeah, developers. Yeah. Definitely lots of crowd, and you can see people surrounding us, right? So, you know, artificial touch is definitely it's a hot war here in China over the past 12 months. Everybody's trying to figure out uh, what's going on, how can they really use them. Yeah. So, we're very excited as well to really partner with Alibaba to really explore some of the um, potentials. We had, I had a chance to speak with some of the Alibaba executives, yeah. and I'll see strategic partnership with Intel. Sure pretty strategic, and it matters what's inside the cloud, and that's kind of, of course. Uh, but it's not an Intel inside like a PC. The AI is showing that there's a little bit of an Intel on everything from IOT, industrial IOT, to yeah. data center. I mean, it's a range of technology that's powering a new kind of software. Yeah. This is where AI is shining. We're seeing that with machine learning yeah. uh, and as data-driven technology. So, I got to ask you, what is the view from Intel on AI? Obviously, we see the commercials, we see the, the technology from Intel. How does that translate to your view on AI? What's the view? Yeah, so, so essentially today's AI, artificial intelligence, is powered by three vectors. The amount of data, the, the new uh, algorithms, and lastly, the, the compute power, right? And Intel has historically been the leader of creating compute. Yeah. So from the, for the past many years, what has always been you know, generating new compute powers into the cloud and data centers as well as PCs. Yeah. But going forward, as we look at applying AI to different usages like autonomous driving, for example, yeah. right? Uh, you cannot exact, expect everything to be done just at the cloud because we need the real data to be inputted from a car, yeah. for instance, or the cameras or the sensors. So we do definitely see a need of actually faster uh, processors at the edge as well. Yeah. They continue to bring the data back into the cloud so that they have an autonomous uh, and a feedback loop to make sure that we have the right decision making, right? Yeah, um, and so cloud drives this, right? So it's not just cloud though, it's software. Definitely. I mean, there's the exponential growth in open source software is causing a renaissance in the developer community. You're seeing it here in China, a lot of young demographics here. Yeah. Software and data is tsunami going on. You need yes. compute power. <laughs> yes, yes. Uh, I think Intel, everybody knows Intel is a hardware company, but we do have a very large effort on engaging yeah. our software ecosystem. Right, from the old days on engaging Linux, yeah. the cloud different software stack, and working with the CSPs like Alibaba in China, right, to yeah. really make sure they can create and write a new latest software, AI framework, and making the most, taking the most advantage of a hardware uh, platform as well. So that's something yeah. that we've been very focusing on. And one of the themes here is the IOT for traffic in China. Obviously, if you've been here, you know it's kind of congested, but uh, Alibaba's giving a lot of talks on how yeah. they're using data in this cloud city yes. for traffic, which is an example of IOT, Internet of Things, but applied to the real world. That's, that's where right. the AI kind of connects with the data. Is that kind of where it's going? Yeah, so I think this is a great uh, application that you just mentioned, right? And Alibaba calls it a city brain. So essentially you can imagine like a, a city, a normal city like in China, can easily go five million, 10 million people. The amount of people and the amount of traffic that go on the road every day, right? So if uh, the city is able to utilize all this video stream of data feedback from the different traffic uh, intersections and be able to uh, direct traffic and, and control the traffic lights, uh, dynamically, yeah. using artificial intelligence, you actually solve a lot of the city's uh, congestion problem. Yeah. So I think this is where we're seeing a lot of application being explored in China, yeah. being used in very innovative, innovative different ways by Alibaba. Peter, I got to ask you, because one of the things we're seeing in the Cube and Wikibon research is the um, growth of new kinds of ecosystems. Yes. Um, Karen Liu, who runs the Americas, General Manager of Americas for Alibaba, said to me that ecosystem is super important for Alibaba, as an example. But a new kind of ecosystem is developing. Cloud service providers are becoming yeah. a new hot growth area because the specialty of building applications in the cloud is not like it was kind of in the old days. Yeah. You got to have a little bit of a cloud native mindset, but yet domain expertise, whether it's traffic or 
a certain vertical solution. So it's a little bit of both. Yeah. Horizontally scalable, yet specialism. Yeah. This is going to create a lot of opportunities for cloud service providers. Yeah. What's your view on that from Intel's perspective? How yeah. are you guys seeing that market? Do you agree? And yeah. what are you guys looking at, at, at that market? Yeah, so obviously cloud service provider, uh, the likes of Alibaba or the Amazons, are one of our fastest growing customer base over the past five years. And going in the near future, we expect this trend to continue to grow. Yeah. Um, we definitely see CSPs as a leading edge of driving innovation, right? Because they're not just some leading edge of driving consumer usages, but they also have been, you know, like the City Brand Project, they're being really close on really solving the enterprise problem yeah. as well with public cloud. So I think we're very excited to have the opportunity to be close partner with a, a CSP like Alibaba to really help them in providing our latest uh, hardware technology to allow them to drive innovation on top with their software and with their programs, with their algorithms. How are they, how are those big cloud service providers or CSPs like Alibaba, they're a big one, they're number, the fourth cloud in the world, enabling their CSPs because I was talking to someone on the floor here, an ISV in the old world, who was telling me that he's now a cloud service provider. So yeah. you have now this nice balance in the ecosystem developing. Yeah. You guys see the same thing? How are you guys looking yeah, at that? So, so this is what we call a hybrid situation, right? So while the big CSPs like Alibaba, they have a lot of competency and they have a lot of internal engineering, it may not make sense for them to create every single application in the world, right? So there may be some legacy enterprise application, for instance, a uh, CRM software yeah. in China, who maybe it's really popular, for them to forge a collaboration with the leading company like Alibaba to translate their uh, on-prem software stack into a cloud solution. So I think we definitely see a lot of that collaboration happening yeah. to take the best of the best from the legacy yeah. as well as the new uh, public cloud uh, environment to really make the better service for the companies yeah. and, and the customers. Great ecosystem opportunity. Okay, so I got to ask, what is the Intel relationship that you guys are doing on your end with Alibaba Cloud? Obviously, they're, they're taking names, they're kicking butt, they're doing yeah. well, they're going global, they're not just in China, they're first a cloud provider here in China to go outside the mainland, and obviously in the U.S. they're in Silicon Valley, our backyard. Yeah. What's, what's the collaboration? Share the so relationship. We, we work very closely with Alibaba, right? Um, like you said, they are now the leading cloud service provider here in China. They're starting to go abroad. And we, as an ingredient technology provider perspective, we have very close collaboration with them, sharing with them our technologies on hardware roadmap, as well as software enabling, to make sure they can take full advantage of it. So we're very excited to see the growth of Alibaba over the past few years, yeah. and we look forward to seeing them continue to expand their business uh, together with us. Yeah, great company. So I got to ask you, one of the collaborations that got my attention was the, yeah. I don't want to say hackathon, it was competition, it was the AI yeah. competition called TN2 that you guys yeah. were part of with Alibaba. What was Intel's role in that? I saw some of the winners earlier, I didn't get a yeah. chance to get the specifics, but. Take me through this AI competition yeah. that Alibaba did with these entrepreneurs. Yeah. So I'm very, actually very excited. I just talked to one of the winner, winning team uh, just, just now. Uh, so what happened is, uh, when we talk about artificial intelligence, today it's a lot about image recognition, voice recognition, but that's just pure technology. So what Alibaba decided to do, which you know, Intel is a partner, is we created a medical image um, contest, right? So, we pick a particular subject, for instance, uh, lung cancer. And we invited uh, 16 local hospitals to provide uh, the, some of the image data of the patients anonymously. And then we have opened it for the software uh, ecosystem, the academia, the professors, the schools, and say, hey, why don't you come in and try to compete on the image uh, recognition accuracy based on those uh, X-ray images, yeah. CT scan images. So it takes about six, six we have overwhelming um, out turnout, we have about 3,000 teams from 20 different countries applying to join the contest. And then we just selected a winner yesterday. Uh, so basically, we, we've, the, the three winning teams, two of them are from the best universities here in, in China, one of them is from overseas. And again, Intel's role in this, we provide a lot of the consultation help. Yeah. First of all, we provide the hardware system based on our Xeon Phi uh, clusters. And on top of that, we provide a lot of the software tools, Cafe, image recognition libraries, Intel Metal libraries, to really help the contestant to be able to use the Intel hardware to the maximum to yeah. drive the best performance. And so you guys provided the technology, Alibaba, some cloud, and let these guys just take. What was the results? And what was the any uh, no, success? So, so, was there a winner? No, there was a winner. <laughs> I think a big winner was Beijing University. 
Uh, but I think overall, we are not just excited just because of this specific winners, but really the larger intent. Yeah. Uh, if you can imagine in a, city, in a country like China, there's a lot of people, meaning there's a lot of uh, patients at different parts of the, uh, the country. And not every tier two, tier three city have the same resource or access of the best doctors. Yeah. If we're able to simplify you know, the lung cancer yeah. image recognition, to be able to provide this as a tool for the tier two, tier three cities of China, imagine how much you know, if this will change yeah. a patient's uh, This is a societal impact. Definitely. And you got Definitely. collective intelligence. It's almost like an open source kind of thing where yeah. the more people doing it. It gets better. It gets, gets better. better. The flywheel. Yeah. Yeah, and then we have definitely a lot of hospitals want to really take advantage of yeah. this as well. So we're really glad on the, the result of this first round, and I think Alibaba will want to do a yeah. next round with a different subject as well, okay. and we're looking forward to partnering with them again. That's inspirational. Okay, great to have you on. Thanks for the commentary, exclusive coverage. Final thought, what's your thoughts on the event? Uh, where's AI going? Where do you see this trajectory yeah. of Alibaba and Intel going? Oh, so definitely the event is wonderful and great. This is my third year here. It gets just bigger and bigger every time. So, so I'm looking forward to come back for the next couple of years again. Uh, our collaboration with Alibaba has been very close, right? We, we work with each other deeply yeah. with our engineers' collaboration and look forward to continue to bring out more successful projects. And they're really bringing together not just science and developers, but artists. You got a music festival here. It feels like right. South by That's Southwest right. meets a developer a little conference. Bit more fun. You know. Societal impact, traffic solving problems, lung cancer, big data, and data is changing the world. Also, you need the compute power, you need the analytics. Of course, you need SiliconANGLE and the Cube and Wikibon exclusive coverage here in China of the Alibaba Cloud Conference. Thanks for watching. <laughs>